sound better. I think. Sometimes. guys I sat down to eat that salad after I got done filming and um, and realized that all the audio was gone so I was telling you guys that in every video I seem to get a little deep that's my thing it's my jam I love personal development I devour books on all of that stuff and I'm always looking for ways to grow and I have big ambitions and a lot of those books just make me think big and I think that is the key to achieving anything is to dream it first. So I wanted to talk to you about how I feel like I am right now in the middle of my goals. It just so happens that I'm in my late 30s, so I kind of probably should be. But as far as like where I'm at in life, if you had come to me when I was a teenager and told me that you're gonna end up a US citizen with kids living in America permanently, I would have been crying happy tears because that was like a big dream and I mean it would have just it would have just made my life <laughs> right then and there but I wouldn't have believed you it would have been it would have sounded too good to be true so by all means if I think back to myself and my thoughts and my dreams and my hopes in my teenage years and realize where I'm at, like truly think about where I'm at. I've achieved something humongous already. And it might be very hard to relate unless you're an immigrant yourself, but there is something so grand about up and leaving, moving across oceans, to get to another place, starting from scratch and building a life for yourself. That said, that doesn't have to be the only goal. That doesn't have to be the end all. And I feel like the older that I get, <clears throat> I'm starting to realize the bigger picture. And I'm starting to think more like through other people's eyes. Like for example, my family, you know, I think what a sacrifice it was for me to leave all of them, that country, the culture, everything that was familiar to me and come here and start from scratch. And I don't want that to be a wasted sacrifice. It's not a waste, obviously, in the fact that, you know, I am already a mom, I have beautiful kids, and I'm very blessed, but I feel like as much as that fulfills me, it's not the end of the story. And just like in any good book, there is a middle. And in that middle, the character finally realizes everything that has led up to that point, what's at stake, 
and what is still yet to achieve. And I'm like dead on right there. I have very clear uh, vision of the fact that I'm supposed to do something more than just be a mom. Although I don't look at it like that. And I love being a mom. It's one of the best things I've ever done. The best thing I've ever done. But I feel called. I feel called. If you asked my family, they would tell you that it always felt to them like I was on this train to come here. And things and relationships have happened in my life ever since I was a teenager that have led me here. Without those relationships, I wouldn't be here today. I believe in the higher power. I believe that there is a purpose for all of it, for all of those encounters, and that I'm meant to be here and I'm meant to do something great with my life. And whether I'm equipped enough to achieve them, that's one thing, but I'm sure as hell going to try. I'd also like to say, you know, what a blessing it is to live in this country. I'm an immigrant, yes, but I actually am very patriotic and I love the USA. And I think that in today's world, there's more criticism than love spread around. And while I do understand the criticism, I just want to be a voice for a lot of immigrants like myself who come from countries like Finland that are safe places to live. You know, we have, we have, uh, Contents lives. We have a lot of opportunities. There's great schools. The nature's clean. You know, we have great health care, um, all these things. And I often get asked, you know, you know, why, why wouldn't you be interested in going back there? Or why, why did you even leave in the first place? Like, what was the appeal? And to that, I must say that, again, there's been this pull. I don't really know exactly what that pull has been, but I feel like I've been called to come here for some reason. And as much as I love Finland, I love living here more. I feel like I am more myself, my true authentic self here. And for that reason, I could never see myself moving back. Never say never, but I just, I don't see it. So it was just this past week that it came to me, you know, what I want this page to truly stand for. And as much as I want to teach you guys how to make beauty products, that more so ties into self-development and the awareness of our health, well-being. Um, and because my vlog is just going to be one part of this YouTube page eventually, the vlog is going to be centered around the American dream. And I'm so happy to have you here following along as I figure all of this out. I feel like every single episode is a little bit different. Maybe I've been trying to find a way to do this. Um, but I'm really excited. I cannot wait to kind of show you... America through an immigrant's eyes. I'm going to try to be as transparent and inspiring as I possibly can. And hopefully my dreams do come true. But if they don't, like I said, I feel like I already won the lottery. 
I have family. I'm happy living here. And I can't believe that I get to live this life. <laughs>